Salute, YouTube. So listen, I wake up this morning, first thing I see, first thing I hear, uh, Anthony Hootie Russo, he made a video, definitely seems a little aggravated, calls a lot of people out, a few people by name, uh, a few people he just hints around, drops a few clues, but you can tell that throughout a lot of the video he's talking about Jimmy Calandra. He quotes him almost directly in certain parts of the, the video. He says things that, you know, just let you know that he's definitely talking about Jimmy. He talks about telling the stories about the breakdancing, the graffiti, smoking weed with made guys. Uh, he mentions that, you know, this person is always bringing up one specific name who was his friend who did a lot of this stuff. You could tell he's talking about Paulie G. He says he mentions his name in every video. Uh, he talks about how, you know, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be on YouTube uh, saying that, that, that you had the best time of your life in prison. But then you go and tell kids don't don't get into this life. And and uh, how can you keep telling kids not to get into the mafia when then there is no getting into the mafia anymore and, and things like that. So anyway, he definitely seems to have a little bit of beef. Like I said, he's calling a lot of people out in the video. I don't know anything about Anthony Hooty Russo, to be honest. Um, I only heard of him recently. I know nothing of his past. I can't really say anything about him because of that. Uh, he grew up in Howard Beach, Ozone Park. Uh, he claims to be connected to the Gaudis and the Gambino family. I'm quite sure he was. I, I don't see any reason to disbelieve him as far as that goes. I don't know if the extent of his story is true as far as he takes it. I don't know. But there's not really much to find out about him. If you look online, you can't really find anything about Anthony, Anthony Hooty Russo. I just know of him from Vlad and a couple of other little things I have seen. And I saw a few videos of his in the past recently. But so anyway, it seems like he's definitely going after Jimmy. I don't know if Jimmy's going to address this. Uh, I hope he does. If he doesn't, I understand. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, but the, the one thing where he got me in this video, Anthony Hooty Russo, is he's basically down talking everyone that's on YouTube until one point. He, he, he kind of suggests that if you're going to watch something, it should be the Johnny and Gene show. So right there, that that makes him lose a little credibility in my eyes. But what do I know? We'll see. We'll see what happens, and we'll see if Jimmy mentions this later. Um, I just wanted to drop this little video real quick just to make people aware. If they haven't seen this yet, they could check it out. Like I said, he's he's doing a lot of shit talking, and he's definitely, he's definitely a little aggravated. He's got some things to say. So uh, I'm going to come back later. I got another story I want to tell. Uh, it kind of addresses John A. Light's lies as usual, and off of one of his lies, I'm going to tell a story about an experience I had with a guy named John Gebert, who uh, John A. Light claims uh, that he had killed. Not that he did it with his own hands, but that he had ordered the murder of John Gebert. I had a little experience when I was a kid with this guy. So I'm going to tell that story a little later on. I got a couple things to do. I'm about to leave with my wife and my stepson and go spend a little time out today. And uh, I'll be back later to tell that story and I'll make a little bit of a longer video then. Before I go, thank you for every everyone's support. I got some more subscribers. Got a couple of guys from Boston. I saw a guy from Trenton on there. Um, a lot of people are showing love and support and I'm definitely surprised by it and happy about it, and I hope it keeps going. I'm excited and I'm uh, I'm enthusiastic about the channel and, and hoping it grows. I emailed Jimmy last night about something that I had said in the last video that was kind of bothering me. You know, he told me, no worries, keep it up. He said, you know, it sounds like he's going to help me support the channel, and uh, I hope it keeps going forward that way. So anyway... I'll be back to you later, probably tonight, 8, 9 o'clock, something like that. And until then, salute.